and welcome to this episode here at Zook Outdoors. This is my 2020 Alaskan bull moose. Had a very good hunt. It was a very quick hunt. Shot him opening morning uh, within a half an hour of getting out of the tent. Uh, it was all do it yourself in unit 16B. I flew in using Alaska West Air. Hunted with my brother-in-law. So yeah, come along. I'll tell the story. And you know, before you go hunting, you have all these uh, ideas and visions of what your hunt will be like. But I never dreamed that uh, I would be hunting Alaska and let for less than one hour before filling my tag. So yeah, uh, the the moose is just short of 61 inches. The 60 inch bull has, is definitely more than legal. They had to be at least 50 inches wide or three brow tines. And this bull is 60 plus and he has five brow tines on his right side and four on his left. And it was also the first moose that I saw and it definitely was not going to pass him up. I'm very pleased. So follow along, um, like and subscribe if you don't mind. I'd appreciate that. It is free and enjoy the story. This is the start of my moose hunt here in Alaska. It's always been a dream of mine to come up here and hunt moose. Finally making it happen. I just got dropped off by a super cub. I'm standing kind of right in the middle of the landing strip here. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's a kind of a thick, um, somewhat marshy area. And got all these big mountains in the background, the distance, and my camp for the next two weeks is sitting here on the ground. Pretty much sums it up. A rifle and a tent, sleeping bag, and some clothing, and some food. So it's a beautiful day. You know, it's blue skies, it's sunny, and I'm just gonna find a little spot over here in the trees to just put the tent up. Find another little spot to hang the food from. There's, yeah, not much here, it's just flat and brushy. So can't hunt till the day after you fly in so I'm just gonna keep a low profile and we'll see what tomorrow brings well, it's a little over an hour after getting dropped off here in the bush in Alaska and I got my tent set up it's just kind of one of them things that um, never done this everything looks almost the same and small trees and it's thick so um, I debated hiking for water and setting up along it decided against that so I just found three little trees here beside the runway and set up my tent so I'm taking the remainder of my gear over and I'm gonna get things situated in the tent here before Alex comes in um, I gotta get my food out 
and put that in my bag. So it's back in here is the tent. And this will be home for the next couple weeks. That ought to be good. It's a beautiful day and I'm about to get things set up here in my tent, but it is hot. Really hot. And back in there is where we'll be sleeping. So I gotta get this stuff set up. Well, looks like pilot's bringing Alex in. I didn't get very far yet. We're setting up. I got a mess here on the ground. I'm trying to get stuff in my pack. Uh, clothing's in the tote. And I don't have a spot picked for the tarp yet. But the pilot's bringing Alex in. I got most of my food here in this bag. It's a waterproof bag. Hang it from a tree, which there's lots of trees. They're just not very big. So let me get out the trail here. Watch the pilot bring Alex in. There he comes. Just kind of comes nestling right down into the trees. There he is. Better for worse. Well, folks, officially laid my hands. First time ever on my bowl here in Alaska. It's an incredible experience. Um, as far as the hunt goes, it was really, really short. Got out of the tent this morning and we got all our stuff on and um, I was pretty sure I heard a grunt a couple times. Yeah, a cow called and yeah, I was definitely, could hear a bull grunting. Called a few more times. He kept grunting, heard him breaking some brush. So we started working this way and made about 20 yards and he took off running. We had no idea he was that close to us. So it was kind of panic time at that point. I couldn't see real much. Um, Alex could see his brow tines, told me he was legal. And I couldn't see much of his body, but I waited till my nerves were too shot and I went ahead and shot him, spined him. And he dropped like a sack of rocks and he's yeah, more than legal. He's got four brown tines on this side and five over here. And I'm gonna try and get this string on his rack. See how wide it is. Get his head up here. So I have this string marked at 50 inches. He's probably about 56 or 7. So that's just a rough estimate. I'm not sure if that's the widest point. I might even get 58 out of him. Either way, it would do. So I wanted to get this whole thing on video, but it just happened too fast. And I'm not in the market of passing up a bull because I don't have them on film so it is what it is it's a gorgeous morning you got the mountains in the background the sun's hitting them yeah couldn't ask for anything better this is incredible I want to thank my wife for allowing me to go on this trip love her love you so much babe she supports everything I do and she goes through a lot so I can do this so I'll pay you back someday well here comes the plane to pick up some of my moose
He packed out the moose. It's probably in the mid 60s or so. It's really warm. But put them over here on the ground. Tarp on the meat. Get them packed up and into a cooler somewhere. Well, it's day two of our hunt. Um, Alex is back at camp. I come out here to this river, see if I can catch any fish. And I don't know what's in there, but it doesn't bite. So I might try fishing a little more, we'll see. But there's a lot of bear tracks in here and uh, didn't see any of them either, but I'm gonna keep fishing, see what I can catch. Yeah, this is a beautiful day. Um, unfortunately for my fishing efforts, uh, I'm not getting any bites. I'm trying to catch something on a spinner and saw a uh, dead salmon carcass along the water. Had a bear, it looks like it checked it out this morning or yesterday. Some fresh tracks at it. Maybe it even pulled it out of the water and was too full to eat it. But uh, there's some kind of salmon in there. It's all ripples from one coming upstream. But for whatever reason, they don't want to bite my spinner. And well, it's middle of the day. There's no wildlife out, it seems. It's kind of warm. I'm assuming in the high 50s or low 60s. But nonetheless, it's a great day to be out and about and enjoy the nice weather while I've got it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story of my 2020 Alaskan bull moose hunt. It was an epic adventure, one that I'd do again in a heartbeat. So we'll see what the future brings. Maybe I'll get out there and uh, visit Alaska again and do it all over. So if it's something that you want to do, um, by all means, make it happen. Moose meat is absolutely outstanding. It's uh, one of the best wild game that I've ever had. So you got to you get yourself one. You know, one of the things I would do differently is I would prep for the hunt. I went on it. Um, you know, I think myself is a fairly healthy, strong person. And it was harder than I anticipated getting off the ground with a hind quarter on my back or even a heavy bag of meat. Um, I wasn't prepped for that. So I would definitely encourage you to do that if you're going to go on a moose hunt. Uh, I would do some prepping long before your hunt so that you're able and ready to carry 150 pounds on your back for at least a mile. Uh, you know, you get a hind quarter, they weigh about 125 pounds or so, and to get off the ground with that on your back can be difficult. I didn't take trekking poles. It's another must if you're going to go moose hunting. Because depending on where you drop your moose, if it's in the water, in swamp, then yeah, it's going to be a little difficult getting off the ground. It's doable. So yeah, um, I didn't catch the hunt on, on film, not the kill anyway, that I wanted to catch, but it is what it is. And one of these days, maybe I'll get back out there and get after it. That's what they look like. You get out there and you call them. You get these bad boys all wound up, and they come at you through the woods. Whoa. 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 These things come looking for a fight.